I'm going to go around then because you're coming at me pretty quick, man. Everybody, please be advised on airport, Watsonville, we have a couple of accidents. Please be advised, Watsonville. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to react to the recent mid-air collision we saw at Watsonville, California. Uh, this is like my backyard. I'm flying into Watsonville all the time and this one hit pretty close to home. So what we had here is two aircraft operating in the traffic pattern and one guy coming in on a long straight in at a high airspeed, right? Just intending to save himself some time and go straight into a runway where he can easily hear there are people working in the traffic pattern. What happened? He failed to spot the aircraft on base. It turned final in front of him. He was still looking for it on base. He ran into that aircraft and we have three fatalities. Bostonville area traffic, twin Cessna 740, Wiscajula is 10 miles east. Presently we're 4500 uh, after the last ridge we'll descend for a straight in for 2-0, Watsonville. Watsonville traffic, now you're Fox Trot Lima is turning a uh, one and a half mile left base from my 2-0, Watsonville. Watsonville traffic system 931, left crosswind 20, Watsonville. Watsonville traffic system 931, turning left downwind 20, Watsonville. Watsonville traffic 903, Fox is approaching short final 20, Watsonville. And Watsonville traffic sky lane 9 Bravo Exo, we're about a mile to the southeast on the VR Alpha. We'll be flying overhead 1300 and then making Watsonville area traffic, twin Cessna 740, which could you at three miles straight in, two zero, full stop, Watsonville. Uh, Watsonville traffic, Cessna 931, turn left base, two zero, Watsonville. Watsonville area traffic, twin Cessna 740, which could you at one mile uh, straight in, two zero, full stop, looking for traffic on left base. Yeah, I see you, you're, uh, you're behind me. I'm gonna go around then, because you're coming at me pretty quick, man. Here's the deal. The reason we fly traffic patterns is to help separate aircraft, okay? Um, there's a flow to the traffic so that we can predict where other pilots are going to be, so that we know kind of where to look for them, and so that we can all get in in line and just sort of go in the right order. When you come in on a long straight-in approach, especially when you can hear that there are people in the traffic pattern, you know, keep in mind, they, there might be people in a traffic pattern without radios that you can't hear, but on a day where there are definitely people talking on the radio, for you to fly a long straight in approach and skip that traffic pattern is careless and reckless. It's hazardous. It's selfish. Um, it's all sorts of bad things. Everybody, please be advised there is an accident towards uh, runway 20. Please be advised. Watsonville. Everybody, please be advised on airport, Watsonville, we have a couple of accidents. Please be advised, Watsonville. You know, we have a student pilot in a 152 whose life was ended by the careless, reckless operation of a selfish and rushed pilot. And that's real. So we're not, you know, no one's perfect. I've done long straight in approaches. I'm pretty sure you've done long straight in approaches. So let this just serve as a little bit of humble pie and a good reminder that there really is no reason to do that. If you hear somebody in the traffic pattern and you really think that you're in a hurry or you're, you want to expedite for whatever reason, um, nothing's preventing you from doing a sort of modified overhead where you fly the final approach, just offset a little bit toward the dead side like you would in a go around. Keep your speed up if you'd like until you get to the midfield point and then you can slow down and turn into the downwind as spacing allows and circle and land. And you essentially just flew the traffic pattern. And what is that going to cost you? An extra 90 seconds? Maybe? So, um... It's really important that we fly these traffic patterns and that we make our radio calls and that we try to do things that are predictable when there isn't a tower 
watching over us, all right? Now, in 2016, the FAA uh, released an advisory circular. I think it was 90-66 Bravo, maybe. Anyway, it's called Operations at Non-Towered Airports. Um, and in that document, they advise that there are two ways that they recommend in the United States to enter the flow of traffic at a non-towered airport. Uh, the first way is to overfly the traffic pattern. Um, they say 500. I prefer 1,000 feet above. Just give yourself some distance above the, the TPA. Get a lay of the land. Do some reconnaissance. Try to identify the aircraft you hear. Try to look for aircraft that don't have radios. When you figure out what's going on, which runway they're using, what, wind, you know, what the winds are, where all the airplanes are, then you just go wide. Go out about four miles out on the pattern side. Descend to pattern altitude and come in on a 45-degree angle at pattern altitude altitude making calls so that you intersect the downwind at the midfield point and continue with the traffic pattern or if you'd rather not do that you enter at pattern altitude from the dead side that is from the side that does not have the traffic pattern you go right over the air airport at midfield and turn directly into the downwind as spacing allows. Now, either way, this gets you into the flow of traffic. All right, aviators, that's all for this episode of The Finer Points. A huge thanks to the sponsors. Remember that ForeFlight is the essential app for aviation and that when you renew your AOPA membership, you should select Pilot Protection Services. If you would like bonus content and monthly hangouts with me and would like to support this YouTube channel, please consider becoming a patron. There's more information at Patreon dot com slash learn tfp also check out our free three-day trial of our ground school app it is the best flight training out there i promise or you don't have to buy it because it's a free trial you guys are the best fans on the internet please hit the like button subscribe to the channel hit that little notification bell so that maybe just maybe you'll get notified of my uploads leave me a comment below but most importantly until i see you guys again be safe fly your best <laughs> <laughs>